This is Mordechai Torsky reporting from the Israeli coastal city of Netanya. On the eve of the Jewish festival of Passover, in the shadow of this high-rise hotel, there is an eerie quiet, for it was here exactly seven years ago, as hundreds of Israelis celebrated the holiday and held the traditional Seder, or ritual meal, that a suicide bomber entered this hotel's crowded dining hall and detonated an explosive. Thirty people were killed and 140 were injured, twenty of them seriously. Hamas claimed responsibility for the attack, one of the worst in Israel's history, and one of many to hit the city in 2002 during the height of the Palestinian Intifada. Several years later, one can see the effects of this attack. A number of hotels on King David Street have closed. Karina Gupalov, an immigrant from Odessa and mother of two, worked as a hotel waitress that night. Her life and her body have been forever altered. The psychological impact was quite severe. I'm still afraid of going to public places. As for my medical problems, I sustained serious internal injuries from the force of the blast. I was hospitalized for a month. They operated on me for five or six hours, and till this day, I'm still undergoing treatments. There are five bull bearings in Karina's body. The other four are embedded in her back, shoulders, and chest. On that fateful night, French-born Karine Hamami had not yet arrived at the hotel, where her 44-year-old husband, Amiram, father of six and hotel manager, was welcoming guests in the main dining hall when the blast occurred. He was killed. One of three children at the hotel at the time was injured. Everything had looked so beautiful. The tables were set for the holiday. We were all dressed up and ready. The people came to celebrate. And then the terrorist came, blowing everything up here. Over the years, families have booked reservations and held celebrations at the Park Hotel as an expression of solidarity. But this Passover, says Corrine, the hotel will not be anywhere close to capacity, reflecting both rough economic times and difficult memories. But Corrine says her family and its other partners will continue to manage the hotel, despite the hardships. My husband would want me to continue, not to give in, not to fade away, or just to die out here. He would want to see this hotel continue to persevere and to function, for this is actually our triumph, the triumph of all Jews, that we continue with our lives despite everything that happens to us. For Corinne, who survived the attack, Passover brings new meaning. Despite the severity of this tragedy, Passover is still a holiday for me. Now I always celebrate it at home and don't go out. It's hard to be reminded of all of this, but it's important to know about it and even think about it from time to time. This is Mordechai Tursky reporting from Netanya, Israel.